Hey everyone, welcome to the arcade. Blue KQ here, and in this match we're following a Seattle match, close to the end of my grind, uh, working my way toward the Worcester. Uh, as you can see, there was some smoke here. We've pretty much dominated and pushed every all the enemy ships off of the sea cap and capped it ourselves. There was some smoke, so I was pushing up uh, to try to get closer to the enemy ships, and I can be more effective and uh, so I was using that smoke to push up towards this island and uh, now the smoke's dissipated it's a race basically for me to try to get back up to island cover finished off that battleship as it was trying to uh, push through and make its way back to its teammates and so now I'm going to work on the Massachusetts uh, mostly because I'm scared I, I, you know if he decides he wants to turn and shoot at me that's a problem because I'm caught out in the open Fortunately for me, he's focused on something else, and his secondaries are shooting at the battleship next to me. So it sounds like it's hitting my ship in the video here, but it's it's actually hitting my neighbor. So again, racing up to try to get behind cover. Uh, the, the Seattle's a Tier 9 USN light cruiser, not known for having lots of armor, and so island armor is its best armor. As I'm making this push, I'm trying to get to that island up in front of me. I'm still wiggling back and forth, trying to throw off anybody's aim that might be looking my direction since I am detected. And fortunately, uh, I make it most of the way up here unscathed. I do take uh, a salvo right here as I get close to the island. This destroyer is uh, went undetected. So I pop my radar to help my division mate there in the Alaska as he's trying to, to sink that destroyer. Once that destroyer is gone, uh, we'll be the least detectable ships on this side of the map. And so we won't be surprised and spotted. I'm trying to get all my guns on there. I got a little overzealous and pushed out a little far. I did get a good hit on him, but now I'm out. Uh, away from my island armor and exposed to the two ships over there. My my radar went out, and so my division mate in Alaska popped his, so I'm waiting for the destroyer to pop out. He's going a little slower than I anticipated him going, so I miss with this salvo, but uh, I he's trying to stay in his smoke. You do get a good shot on him, and then the battleship finishes him off. There's two ships out there uh, that are pretty far away. But these ships are closer and trying to take the B-cap from us and a much bigger threat to me. So the uh, rune is going to go out of uh, position to where I can't shoot him over the island. So I try to get a salvo on him while I can, hoping for a fire or something like that to where uh, there'll be some damage while he's still gone. But I want to focus on this Bismarck because he's a lot closer. I'm checking to see where I'm at as in relation to the island. Again, the island armor is the best armor. And I'm trying to keep my ship in a position where the island would block most of the shots from ships and expose myself to as few potential threats as possible. I get a fire on this Bismarck, turns this hydro on so he can spot me and secondaries can do some work, but it takes a really big hit from that battleship next to me. And then I manage to finish him off with a salvo. Got a destroyer spotted out there. The rune's behind that island, so I can't really shoot at him. Taking a quick look around, and that, that destroyer is the only thing I have to shoot at. So since he's exposed, I'm going to send some shots his way. Don't really expect them to do much because he's a small target and uh, far enough away that my shells will take forever to get there. Rune decides to turn back in, so I'm going to load up some AP, but I've got an HE loaded up right now. So I send that salvo, and then AP is loaded. He had a 2,000 damage and a fire, but uh, get a nice big solid hit on him with the AP into his side and then finish him off with another salvo of AP. Looking around again, not much to shoot at. That destroyer's still there. He's moving now. Uh, I don't know if his got pushed out of his smoke by hydro or something else, but um, his sh sh my shots to him never make it because my teammates finish him off before. Now I'm looking around. What do I have left? I'm going to try to push up into this B spot. I've got a that battleship that, that pushed up with me to B is out there exposed and that uh, Mogami is the most direct threat to him right now so I'm going to try to send some salvos his way and see if I can help him uh, 
uh, do some damage on him and maybe save uh, our Roma. That Mogami is looking to send torpedoes, so he's turning his other side broad um, to the Roma so he can get those kind of backward facing uh, torpedoes facing towards the battleship. That puts him in a really bad spot. He's far enough away and he's maneuvering, so I'm not, uh, I don't think, I don't have a lot of confidence in my shots getting to him, so I decided to focus on the battleship, hoping that with the Mogami broadside that the battleship can finish him off. I, do, I get a fire on the, the Mogami as he's driving away. Um, it's not the first fire, so I think he's probably already repaired one, and now, now that one's going to burn. And uh, I changed my focus to the slower moving, bigger battleship uh, that's not blocked by the, the peak of that island I'm currently hiding behind. Keeping an eye on there, see if that uh, Roma can indeed finish off the Mogami. And hoping that that can happen pretty soon. But I just start launching salvo after salvo of HE towards this Alsace. Because he's really the only one that I can hit. The... Roma does indeed finish off the Mogami, but he's paid a heavy price, and the Alsace is going to finish him off here momentarily. I'm still just launching HE shells at the Alsace, hoping to set some more fires. I'm using this island to try to keep myself concealed, um, but I back out a little bit far here, so in my effort uh, to try to get pushed back up uh, uh, behind that island, I'm already starting to, to change my, you know, momentum and, and go forward, but the Alsace is getting his turn, guns turned around on me, and I end up taking a pretty heavy salvo right here, um, right before I get back to the island. The island's got me concealed right now. Normally I would be using my radar to spot destroyers, but there's none of them left, so I, you know, feel comfortable using my radar to spot this battleship. I'm concealed behind this island. Yes, some of my shots are hitting the island, but some are getting over, and some is better than me exposing my entire side to get all of my guns on target. So I'm just going to continue to launch HE shells over the ones that make it and get another fire there. He's pretty low on his health, uh, so he re repaired that fire right, right away and started taking just blind shots, untargeted shots over the island. You know, one of them hit me, but it uh, could have been a lot worse if he waited till I was spotted by his airplane, which I was there momentarily and will be again right now. But he's pretty pretty much dead. He could get another fire right here at the end, um, which typically would, would have probably finished him off, but I've got some more HE shells going. And then the Amagi uh, that was pushing up from behind uh, managed to finish him off. Sinking that ship uh, basically made it uh, secure the, the victory for our team. It's not a lot they can do with just one ship. We're already at 960 points. Um, time is running out, and we had three out of the four caps. So uh, looking at the final results screen, 118,000 damage, 293 gun hits, uh, three sunk ships, and 10 fires. Uh, with the bonuses and flags and whatnot, 9,200 9, XP in my grind towards the Wooster. Looking at the final team score, uh, 1,810 base XP for me to, to lead the team. The top eight on our team did pretty well and pretty much smothered out their, their team, um, who had a couple players who had some pretty good matches, but wasn't enough to carry them. And on the uh, detailed results screen, get some good salvos to finish off that ruin, 17,500, 13,000 on that Bismarck, but of course the battleship right behind me did a, a good chunk to, to get him close to being done only 3,400 to finish off the Donskoy. There's that 44,000 total damage on the Alsace as he was pushing across the B cap. There's 18,000 on the, the Massachusetts as we were pushing up towards B and 12,500 on that Mogami who was fighting the Roma at B. I hope you guys liked the video. Hit like if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content and hit that bell notification button if you want to know right when the new videos are published. Leave some comments down below. What do you like about this, uh, the Seattle? What don't you like about the Seattle? It's kind of a controversial ship uh, in that push towards the Wooster uh, at Tier 10. I hope you guys enjoy the game. Thanks for stopping by the arcade. Mm -hmm.